Hi, so I recently showed you this voltage regulator, the LM2596. Now, the only problem with this is it doesn't have a case. So I actually designed a case and 3D printed it. So I'll show you the design here. Now, this is very simple. I'm not, you know, I'm not a CAD designer, 3D designer, um, but you can see the design here. And I'll link to this in the video description and you can download this and print this yourself if you like. So the board goes inside. If it doesn't line up, then you put it in the wrong way. So you can see that the inputs and the outputs line up with the holes. Once you put it inside the enclosure, you take the lid and you take the button. The tool end of the button will go through the lid and then you can lower that back onto the enclosure. And you'll see that you now have a clicky button. The turning knob for the voltage um, adjustment just pushes on here now you might have to adjust this just a little bit I had to use a screwdriver to get the hole just a little bit larger um, and that just pushes on there so now we've got our push button and we've got our voltage selection now of course this lid at the moment is just freestanding so what you have to do is actually super glue that in place now what you want to do is basically take a layer of super glue and put that all the way around the outside then again you're just going to get your button you're going to hold the tool bit and you're going to put it in place and you can just hold it like that until the glue dries or you could put something on there to support it now unfortunately i don't have any super glue it seems like i'm always buying super glue and then when i go to use it it's gone missing so i'm going to use this epoxy now this is total overkill for this application but it's all i have available now I think this epoxy takes around five minutes to dry, so I'm actually going to use these clamps to hold everything in place while it's drying. If you're using super glue, it's literally just going to take around 30 to 60 seconds. Now I'm sure mine isn't going to look as good as a super glued version because this is black epoxy, whereas super glue is obviously transparent, but I'm not too worried about how it looks. Okay, let's start putting this on. Now I'm going to clamp it gently in place. Now I don't want to crush the plastic, I just want to hold it securely. Okay, it's one side. Oops. And that's the other. Just tiny, oops. No, I don't want to crush the plastic. This would be so much easier if you just use super glue. Just smoothing out the seams. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave this to dry. I think it's around five minutes is required. Um, and then we'll come back and I'll show you the result. So I think this probably had long enough to set now. So I'll remove my clamps. Yep, seems pretty well set. So now I have a nice enclosure for my adjustable power supply. I have my button. And once I push the knob back on, I can adjust the voltage. Um, now it doesn't look too pretty because of the black epoxy, but I'll probably um, sandpaper that down because you can sandpaper uh, ABS plastic. Um, I'll bring it a little bit closer so you can have a look. It's not the prettiest of prints because um, I rushed it a bit, but you know, it's okay, it's working. So let's, let's plug it in and test it out. Okay, so I've got my 19 volt power supply plugged in. You can see it's reading 18.9 volts, and if I press the button, it swaps the output 5.3, and if I turn the knob, 6, 8, 9, 11, so you can see it works well. And it's all just 3D printed, designed on the computer, and then printed off. And I've got my screw terminals here accessible to um, connect my output or my load, and I can easily adjust switch between the input sometimes it's a little bit slow swapping between the input and output I'm not sure why that is see 18.9 press it again 16.9 output sometimes it's a little bit slow swapping between the input and output but that's not a problem so there you go 
If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give a thumbs up and subscribe, and hopefully we'll have more 3D printing adventures in the near future.